done anything about dinner? <laughs> dinner? Yeah, dinner. Remember, we agreed you were going to take a couple of steaks out of the freezer so they could thaw. I forgot about it. I was on my way into the kitchen to do it when I suddenly got this great idea for the ending of the script, and it slipped my mind completely. Oh, swell. Oh, no, no, but wait till you hear the finish I got her. Now, sit down and listen to this. Now. The little cockney boy is kneeling before the queen. She dubs him knight. Then she says to him, You are a very brave and gallant young man, and you have saved England. <laughs> then the little boy looks up at her and he says, Your Highness, this is the happiest die of my life. Then he jumps up, faces the crowd, and cries, God save the queen! The music swells up, fade out. Huh? Well, what do you think? I think you should have thawed the steaks. <laughs> well, you're certainly in a sour mood. What'd you do, lose a couple of cases today? No, I didn't lose a couple of cases today. For your information, I had lunch with some very important people who told me they're thinking of running me for judge. Mm, well, pardon me, Your Honor. All right. Shall we go out to dinner? Or hadn't you planned on ever getting dressed? <laughs> I always work in my bathrobe. It happens to be comfortable. I must say, certainly an odd way to work. Sitting around in your bathrobe all day. Well, look who's talking. You can hardly wait to get behind a bench and start wearing a black kimono. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, trust you enjoyed my cigars? Oh, they were splendid. <laughs> That's excellent tobacco. Where do you get them? I have them made. They cost two dollars a piece. Well, they are worth every penny of them. <laughs> you know, I just can't understand why you don't like this finish I've got here. Maybe it's because you never heard the build-up. Would you like me to read it to you from page one? Not on an empty stomach. <laughs> well, if Kay were here, she wanted to hear me read the whole thing. Well, if Eve were here, she'd have fixed dinner. Yeah. You know something? What? I hate to admit it, uh, but we, we miss, miss our, our wives. wives. <laughs> but I'll be darned if I'm going to ask Kay to take me back when she started this whole thing. I know, I know. The trick is to get them back and still save our pride. Yeah. How do we get them to make the first move? One thing that always gets Eve is for me to get hurt. If I so much as have a little scratch, she just goes to pieces. Yeah, Kay's the same way. I get a splinter in my finger and she almost wraps me in a blanket and carries me to the doctor. <laughs> now, how can we arrange to get hurt? Well, that's easy. You just keep on criticizing my scripts and I'll arrange it for you. <laughs> well, I can arrange it for you, too, if you keep smoking my cigar. Oh, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Wait a minute. That's it. What's it? We'll stage a fight in front of the girls. Now, now that is good thinking. <laughs> I've seen the stunt men at the studio stage those things. They, they pretend to throw a punch, only it doesn't really land. Here, now, you swing at my chin, but miss. I'll make a sound. Like that. Come on. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> huh? Good. Now, okay, now I'll try one. All right, ready? ready? Ow! Sorry! <laughs> With you. Well, I, I said I'd seen the stuntmen do it. I never tried it. Well, I never tried it either, but I missed you. Well, you obviously would make a better stuntman than I would. Oh, for heaven's sakes!
and I wouldn't let you, mm -hmm. I let you. <laughs> Well, fortunately, we can have some of that green chicken I made for dinner. No, we can't. <laughs> why not? I threw it out. <laughs> now, why would you do a thing like that, Kay? Well, when I saw it in the refrigerator, it looked so pale and sicky, so I decided to put it out of its misery. <laughs> well, I'm sure it didn't measure up to your idea of food. If something doesn't give you heartburn all night, it can't be any good. <laughs> For your information, not all Italian food is spicy. Interesting, yes. <laughs> but not necessarily spicy. I suppose your spaghetti marinara with garlic, onions, and anchovies is not spicy. Well, I'd rather have it than your dull, bland, boiled beef dinner. How about chicken cacciatore? How about dried beef? Snail Sicilian. Rump roast. <laughs> Salami. Custard. Squid. Hash. <laughs> Garlic in anything. Ketchup on everything. <laughs> you know, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> to quit fighting and getting on each other's nerves. You know what's the matter with us? We miss our husbands. I know. Actually, this whole silly mess is pretty much our fault. I don't know about that. We have every right to be furious for what they did. And what was that? Not very much. <laughs> exactly. Now, the big problem is to make up with our husbands and not lose face. Yeah. We've got to figure some way to get them to come over here and think it's their idea. What would make them come running over here? Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey, wait a minute, Kay. I've got an idea. Now, if they thought that we were despondent and had done away with ourselves, they'd want to make up. Wouldn't that be a little late? <laughs> I don't mean really. I just mean pretend. Now, what would be a good way to pretend that we'd done away with ourselves? Does Roger have a gun? Well, he has that old pistol he brought back from the war. Good. I could shoot you and then be turning the pistol on myself as they come in the door. <laughs> How come I get shot first? Why can't I shoot you then be turning the gun on me when they run in through the door? It's pretend, pretend. How about gas? Perfect. <laughs> Except for one thing. I've got an electric stove. <laughs> well, there must be some way. Hey, Roger once used this in a television show. The heroine took rat poison. <laughs> oh, rat poison is lovely. <laughs> I wonder if Herb's coming home from the office yet. Kay? They're coming! Who? Herb and Roger. Act poison. Start dying. No, I'm not ready yet. When your time comes, you've got to go. I'm not in the mood. Shut up and die. Ah! Oh. 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 Eve, I'm taking oh. rat poison.
talking about you and your problems. And I asked Jerry if he had the chance, would he go out with Elizabeth Taylor? And I said no. boy. So what's wrong with that? Oh, he said he wouldn't go out with her, but he'd certainly go out with Anne Margaret. <laughs> is what I call a good movie. I like it better than when I saw it the first time. <laughs> that Cary Grant, woo, be still my heart. <laughs> he is absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Eve, hmm? tell me something. If Cary Grant walked in here, <laughs> would you go out to dinner with him? Are you kidding? I certainly would. <laughs> Why in the world would I go out with him when I've got you? That is the right answer. <laughs> hey, what happened to Susie and Jerry? I thought they were coming over to watch the movie. They went camping. Oh, well, that fight certainly didn't last long. Well, after all, they are newlyweds. Yeah, they don't know how to drag out a fight like us oldie <laughs> <laughs>